Ah, uh, this is Richard Quack here coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is the missing secret to the secret. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard about the secret. Okay, it was created by Rhonda Byrne from Australia in the year 2006. Now, at that time, Rhonda Byrne was, uh, you know, uh, almost at the end of her life. She was frustrated. She was down and out. But she came across a book that was given to her, gifted to her by her daughter. And the book title is The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wattle. It was authored by Wallace Wattle in 1910. It was an old book and a very small little book, that's all. And she read the book and she applied the principle from the book and it literally changed her life. Okay, so it's about the science of getting rich. The secret, okay, was from the book, The Science of Getting Rich. Now, there were more than 200 million people who viewed the movie The Secret. But the thing is that a lot of people who view the movie did not succeed. Okay, not many of them succeed. And also the book, she came up with a book, The Secret as well, which sold more than 335 million copies. And a lot of people read the book and did not succeed as well. Now, the reason is that, you know, most people who succeed because they have the correct frequency, the uh, vibration and the mindset, that makes them successful okay so basically but it does not mean that uh the law of attraction does not work now what is uh the secret all about actually it is about the law of attraction now the law of attraction is a universal law okay which states that you know whatever you think about you will bring about and it it works on the premise that you visualize what you want and you feel good about it and you will attract what you want into your life. Now, a lot of people think that, uh, you know, the law of attraction is hokey pokey or new age. But the truth is that, you know, it is new, not new age or hokey pokey. It is actually uh, the law of cause and effect. All right. The law of cause and effect and also the law of sowing and reaping. So basically, you know, it is not hokey pokey. The law exists. Okay. Now, why is it that the, it does not work for a lot of people? Well, let's have a look at the reason why it don't, did not work for a lot of people. The first thing I must say is that a lot of people have got the old programming with them. Okay. And this programming are negative programming, which are like bugs and viruses in their mind. And because of this old programming, whatever uh, input they put in will not work for them because what you need to do is get rid of all the old programming, the bugs and viruses that are in your mind. Because with all these bugs and viruses in your mind, it does not work. For example, you got a computer. If your computer is affected by virus, okay, and you install new software, it's not going to work because the first thing you need to do is get rid of the virus and software. So it's the same thing with our old programming as well, with our mind. We got a lot of old programming within us okay that is why it did not work now the second thing i would say is that now uh taking action is very important you see it has been said that you know by your thoughts you attract things into your life but you will receive it only by your action so you got to take action which a lot of people they sit down they visualize they feel good but they don't take that necessary action so that's why it did not work for a lot of people Okay, the third thing is that, you know, uh, uh, you need to have emotion to go along with the uh, visualization because do you believe it or not, the subconscious, the language of the subconscious mind is the feeling or the emotion. So you got to install a lot of emotion, positive emotion with it as well. All right, so a lot of people do not put in the emotion that is required, uh, emotion of uh, gratitude, happiness, joy, and so these are all positive emotion, all right? And the, the strongest of it is gratitude, of course, okay? And the lastly, the fourth thing is that a lot of people are not in the present moment. You see, to, to attract things into 
into your life, you must be present in the now. All right, you cannot be in the past or in the future. You got to be in the present moment. So a lot of people, they were not in the present moment. That's why it did not work for them. Okay, so the secret actually works. The only problem is that a lot of people use it incorrectly. Uh, and the most important thing I believe is that you know you think of something that you want for just a few minutes. That's all. But the whole day through, you think about you think about what you do not want. So if you want it to work, you got to focus your mind on what you want throughout the whole day, not only two minutes. And then the rest of the day, you think about positive uh, about negative things. You know, you complain and so on. So that is why uh, the secret talks about the law of attraction and the law of attraction works. Okay. The only problem is that uh, people are not using it properly. Okay. The law of attraction actually is a universal law. It is not hokey pokey. It is uh, the law of cause and effect and also the law of sowing and reaping. And why it did not work is uh, because of all programming that you have. And a lot of people do not take the necessary action. And thirdly, they don't have the emotion, the feeling that to, that is required, okay, for things to be attracted to you. And lastly, you got to be in the present moment. Okay, so that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate the time that you spent with me here. I will see you again for another session of my live video on Friday. So this is Richard Pratt wishing you good night and goodbye.